die right cause they can't miss All about the game, that's a cold swish Serving up the truth, call it ruthless Tune in and get your fix from Blake and Fish Sports Sublime, we were just talking about McGlinchey, Grant's favorite player of course But uh, we gotta talk about the Packers offensive line They're going up against a tough front four some pretty good players on that offensive line, and they're going to be without their two best offensive linemen. Back to Yari, who's obviously on Pup, and then the other guy, the other maybe the least talk about off, special offensive lineman in the NFL in Elton Jenkins. Grant, how do you think the Packers' offensive line will handle that front four without him? It won't. <laughs> That's the problem here. I mean, if you want to pick the Packers to win this game, how do you get how do you get past this question? How do you answer this question? It won't. I think you would go and say they would just go more short stuff and then have a blocking tight end on passing plays, like on longer developing routes. I mean, the Packers' only chance is if, right, they can hold up in the running game, they can get something going in the running game, and uh, they can get some, like, play action off of that and just kind of get the Niners' pass rush on their heels. Otherwise, like, if they fall behind early and they have to drop back and throw, it's over. It's over. So they have to, like – get a lead and then use the run game and play action to sort of keep the Niners off balance. But if they fall behind, we've seen this so many times. Wouldn't you say? Mike, what do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you there. So I think really the only way that this is going to work, right? You're missing your two best offensive linemen. You're missing Corey Lindsley from last year who went to the Chargers. So you have two rookies. You have a second year in at left guard. You have Dennis Kelly, who started for the Titans, and then you have Billy Turner on the outside. I'd say you, we've we've been talking about the tackle position, but inside is also pretty concerning. I mean, they've done good so far, but they're still younger, more inexperienced guys, and they've been developing like decently so far, but they're still, I wouldn't qualify as, as good as we've seen in the past when the Packers had like Sitton, Lang, they had Lindsley, they had Treader. These guys are not them yet. They're a lot younger, a lot more inexperienced. I guess it's their first night game, too. So I think that gives me some cause for concern, too, especially if Kinlaw and Armstead are in. Um, and I don't know if this is true or not, but Armstead's pressures have been a, reportedly as high, but I've seen contradictory things to that. So I'm not sure with the Armstead thing. But if he's rushing the passer well, I think that's one of the bigger concerns for the Packers over the line. The pressure stat makes me so mad. I feel like that's a stat where you could like pay people off. Be like, come on, man, just say my guy got ten pressures. Come on, man, how many? What if I give you fifty thousand dollars and say I get? So, so I'll say it like this in regards to Armstead, right? So the pressures, I I tweeted it out before. I don't like pressures as a stat because you, it's really difficult to quantify what a pressure is. Is a pressure getting close to the quarterback? Is a pressure getting around your guy? But yeah, you know the quarterback steps up. Is, yeah. a pre- pre- is a pressure moving a quarterback to step up, even though he might step up in rhythm? I don't know what a pressure yeah. is. And, you yeah, know, PFF kind of gives yeah. you a vague description of how they chart pressures, but they also do hand out pressures to every single player like anything. So it's it's difficult to say. What I will say about Eric Armstead, and we know he's always been fantastic in the run game in terms he's so powerful, he's difficult to move. In the past game, too, he's been getting around his guy and beating, in, in a sense, beating his guy and disengaging it from his block pretty quickly now whether you think that's affecting the game as much that's debatable I personally do think he's been effective I think he's been pretty good Mm -hmm. if not very good but um others Grant I can see it on his face might happen to disagree but it's it's a more subjective thing on what you're seeing with Eric Armstead I personally Mm -hmm. think he's been playing really well more importantly in regard to this Packers offensive line without the things that he does well he's still doing well I'll put it that way yeah the things that he does well he's still doing well yeah Things that he doesn't oh. do well, he's still not doing well. The what Armstead do you think he doesn't do well? Contain quarterbacks, but, uh, but uh, hit quarterbacks, also- sack quarterbacks, those things. But he can like set the edge, uh, bull rush. You know, I could do those. He's so powerful for sure. He's great at you know defending the run if it's at him for sure. Really good run defender, hell of a run defender. Not necessarily a three tech, but he's got he's a good. Big end. Um, but if he's like and he's like a fourth pass rusher in a in a group of four. If he's your fourth pass rusher, he might just mess around and get 10 sacks. Otherwise, he'll probably get three. Three. So like 20. I mean, we're talking about a guy with zero sacks and one quarterback hit this season. Like he does he does other things well, though. He does other things well, as does Kinlaw. 
But going back to the Packers offensive line, which is what we're here to talk about, I don't. I think you guys said it. They're not going to hold up. It, they're going to struggle. It's and you know Josh Myers, I think, is playing center, right? Who they, yeah. they drafted, and yeah. uh, Rogers uh, singled him out, saying that he thought he played really well after the Lions game. The Lions mm-hmm. don't have anybody up front that requires you to play really well. I think the power of Jones is going to be a test for him. I think if Kinlaw plays, the power of Kinlaw is going to be a test for him. I think Street will have a really impactful game in this game because I think he's the best interior pass rusher Sands Armstead on this team. And he's already shown an ability to beat guys inside and yeah. win. Yes. And I expect Street to be doing that in this game. I think Street could have a couple of sacks in this game, honestly. Bosa is obviously going to be a handful I thought D Ford slowed down a little bit in the Eagles game. The Lions game, D Ford to me impacted every snap he was in. If D Ford was in, automatically number 55, you saw him exploding off the ball, beating the guy in front of him, throwing the tackle in front of him into the quarterback, creating the pick six for Trey Greenlaw and all of that. And uh, we didn't get to see that as much in the Eagles game. I thought it was a little more inconsistent as expected. We'll see how he does. But I think I expect him to be impactful. Arden Key was better to me against the Eagles. I just think this defensive line with Bosa, it's going to be tough. I think the Packers' biggest thing is can they run the football? Because if they can run the football, then all of a sudden they can protect themselves in the pass game and get ahead of the change in first down. Can we talk about that for a minute? Can we talk about that for a minute? Because you would figure the Niners are going to play split safeties and kind of dare the Packers to run on them. And if Kinlaw doesn't play a good game and Armstead doesn't play, well, they just may run on the Niners. I mean, we've seen that, like, the Niners don't really have a three technique who can stop the run other than Kinlaw. So, yeah. 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 I, I, th- I think they'll struggle to stop the run if Armstead yeah. and Kinlaw don't play. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. I think they would struggle. I, yeah. I, the, the size on the defensive line is what allows them to get away playing white knight. True. It's the fact that they have Armstead who's six, seven, two ninety five, Bosa is six, four, two, fi- two seventy five. Um, uh, Kim Law is uh, 325, 5, 325, and yeah. Jones is uh, 6 v 330. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. humongous on the defensive yeah. line. It's one of the biggest defensive lines in football. That's why you can st- – and and the, the other thing is I do think they'll miss Robert Sala. Robert Sala has owned the Shanahan-style run games when he's played them. He's yeah. destroyed, especially once Gurley slowed down after that 2018. The last two years, he dominated the Rams' run game. And yeah. he, he's absolutely destroyed this Packers run game. They fit this run run game so well. It's not as creative as Shanahan's, but it's a good run game. And I think it'll be interesting to see if they can run the football. To me, that's the question for the Packers. If Elton Jenkins, Rodgers, everything is all about, can they get Aaron Jones going? Yeah. Historically, though, they have not been able to. And I think Fred Warner is kind of the main catalyst for that because they do a lot of stuff to the outside. And they try to beat teams with speed because Aaron Jones is obviously one of the best athletes on the field. But when you have these fast linebackers like Devin White, Levante David, Fred Warner, and you can't get outside and they just beat the linemen to getting to the second level, then it really, really causes problems. And I I mean, I personally hope that doesn't happen, but we've seen that happen the last like three times they've played the Niners, mid, whether that's due to Sala or Warner, I don't know. But um, that that really is kind of the – big point that needs to be made mm. any last thoughts guys no, oh I here's guys name. Name. i have a name vish dominique daphne he's our blocking tight end probably the fourth one on the team Not he will play, be right? in a lot if if he's in there or mercedes lewis is in there blocking a lot that might just slow down the nine pass rush I'm- Martin. I'm more worried about Mercedes Lewis going out for a pass so that Aaron Rodgers can throw a touchdown to a first round pick. <laughs> Has it never happened? It's happened. The first guy was Mercedes yeah. Lewis. Oh, that's funny. That's fine. Yeah. But I think yeah, Robert but- Tanyan's going to have a big game. Robert Tanyan. You think so? Mm. I saw what Jimmy Ward was doing so. to Dallas Goddard and Zachary. I do not believe in no. Robert Tanyan. 